What you guys got another video here for you on how to block the Windows 11 update. Now, if you're using Windows 10 and you're happy using Windows 10 and you don't want to be tricked or forced into Windows 11, then I'll show you how to block it in this video. Now, you're still going to be able to receive security updates, but this is going to block any sort of uh, future or feature update from Microsoft until you make a change to your registry or group policy. So let's first go for GP edit in the search box and open up the group policy editor. You will need Windows 10 Pro and above to use the group policy editor, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do it in Windows 10 Home as well. So with the local uh, group policy editor open, go to computer configuration and administrative templates, then go to Windows components, then go down to Windows update, it should be down here somewhere. There we go. Windows update. And we're going to open this up here. There's a little drop down tab. Open this up and you should see Windows updates uh, for business. Click on this one here. And then on the right hand side here, you should see select the target feature update version. Now, by enabling this, it's going to allow us to uh, control what feature updates we have on our system. So if you're running 21H1, you're not going to be able to get 21H2 when Microsoft release it until you make a change in here once we set this in place. So it's not going to be able to update to Windows 11 by doing this. So this is a good way of blocking it. So enable that feature. And I just want to quickly show you here by typing WinVer in the search box to see what version of Windows you're running, because this is important to make sure the version you're running is going in this box here. So 21H1 is what we are running on this system. So I'm going to put inside here Windows 10, just like so. And then the target version for feature updates, this needs to be 21H1. Now, if you want to receive 21H2 when Microsoft release it, you need to then change this target version to 21H2, and it will allow that 21H2 to then come down. If you leave it as 21H1, it will stay as 21H1 and it will not change and you will not get any feature updates from Microsoft. You can see here 21H1 is the latest version. There will be another release from Microsoft shortly and that will probably be 21H2. Now, once they release that, you won't receive it through the Windows updates until you make changes if you use this method. But also this will block any sort of Windows 11 update. So let's take a look at Windows 10 Home and show you how to do it inside Windows 10 Home. You have to use the registry editor and we're going to have to navigate to a location. So H key local machine, open this tab up here and then go to software and then drill down a little bit further to policies, open this up, then go Microsoft, open this up here and then come down a little bit further to Windows. You should see Windows there, I've selected Windows. And then you should see Windows Update. If you don't see Windows Update, you can right click and create a new key inside Windows and then call this Windows Update, just like I'm doing here. Now, this is only for Windows uh, 10 Home users. If you're using Windows 10 Pro, you can use the group policy method. Once we've got Windows Update inside here, click on it and then go to the right hand side. And then we're going to right click here and create a new value. So let's go ahead, create new D word 32 bit value. Once we've got this open, we need to give it a name. So I'm going to quickly paste in a name here called target release version. And we need to give this a value of one. So let's give it a value of one. That's now done. Right click again and go to new string value. Now we need to give this a name. So let's give it a name called product version. So type this out here, product version, just as you see me doing here. It does have to have the capital letters in there. Once we've got that typed out, you can double click on it and we can give this an, a value. So let's give this a value inside here. I'm going to give this a value of Windows 10, space 10. There we go. Click OK on this one. And then we need to do just one more um, string value here. So let's go ahead and right click in this area and go new string value. And this one is going to be called target 
release version info. So basically type this out. Just as you see here, and these do need to have capital letters on the target release uh, version and then info just like this. Then once you've got this typed out here, you can double click on this and we can give this our version here, info. So 21H1, and that is because I'm using 21H1. I will not receive any more feature updates like 21H2. So if you do want to receive those when Microsoft finally release them, maybe wait or a month or two, you can then come into the registry and make a change to 21H2 and you will then receive those updates for that feature update from Microsoft. Remember, you can always check the Microsoft website to see when they release this version so you can make changes inside your group policy or inside your registry, depending on which method you are using. Once you've made your changes, you can then restart your system and this will set our policies in place so we won't receive any more feature updates from Microsoft. Now you should still be able to receive security updates, but any feature updates like full feature versions like 21H2 or other future versions that Microsoft released, you won't receive those until you make changes in your group policy or your registry. So let's go ahead and check our Windows update here. So let's go to Windows update and you should see now some settings are managed by your organization. I see this quite a lot. If you don't want this to happen and you don't want to be able to set policies like this, then leave it well alone. But if you're one of these people that don't want to update and you don't want to be pestered by these feature updates, then you can set it in this method here. And you should be able to see those methods uh, by uh, looking at the view configuration update policies here and basically have a look at those. So I'm just going to download these updates and I will still receive security updates, but any feature updates from Microsoft will not be delivered to me, which means I will not be receiving any Windows 11 updates or any future updates from Microsoft when it comes to feature updates. Now to remove these, you would just reverse the process in Group Policy Editor, or you'd re reverse the process inside the registry and remove those keys. It's pretty straightforward. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you're one of these people that don't want to be pestered for the Windows 11 update or any feature updates from Microsoft, then you can use this method to block those feature updates. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.